three. Welcome to part three, just in case I decide to cut the first seconds off. I messed up after seven minutes of filming this because I cussed and just kept feeling like I was stalling being stupid. So we're just going to cut into this. Yes, on the last part, I sort of ran out of juice and forgot to make a correction. So I already did that. You bet I am. Didn't have a comma. Put it in there. So I'm not even going to bother reading that again because it's right. And it's in the last part. So here we go. We're going to skip this. Basically, they're looking for cars. Anything that can be used as explosives for a bomb to take them down on the inside. The CDT is going to be taken down by bombs. Maybe or maybe not. But basically, that's it. Okay. So, I don't know what I'm doing now, but uh, let's continue. Brad, get on the radio and start trying to make contact with the CDT. The rest of us are going to get any cars we can find and at work. Okay, now that Brad, okay, now that Brad's busy, here's what I want done. Travis, Mary, and Dove will come with me. Mila, since I trust you the most, I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Brad. Don't let him know that you're still here. Just keep, in, just keep your eyes and ears open. I don't want him given this location of the CDT. So if you hear anything that seems fishy, don't kill him. I want you to knock him out and tie him up. All right, you guys be careful out there. I think it's best if we split up uh, tonight. A couple more ground and bring those attention yourselves. I agree with her. They did attack us yesterday because we were together. Aaron, are you okay with that? Not really. Not good with weapons like you guys, but I'm fast. Okay, then you'll come with me and Travis will go another way. Sound good, Travis? Alright, I'm fine with that. I can handle myself. Bye, um. Remember, don't let him know you're still down here. I won't. I'll get going. Now that sounds like it needs to be a comma, but since it's only five words, it's a small sentence and it's an idea. It's a spoken idea. I guess it doesn't really need one, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Because if I think too much, I'll just waste more time. And never finish. Which is why I've been doing it for a decade. Continuing. Here's the plan. Let's all meet back here in an hour. Remember what we're looking for. That also didn't have a comma. And it sounded stupid, so I put one in there. So now it says, remember what we're looking for. Bit of a pause. Comma. Explosive of any kind in cars at work. Who's going to take the car? I think with all the zombie birds around... Might be best to just do this on foot. The less noise we make, the better. Remember, Travis, one hour. I'll be here. I was thinking about this last night as I was reading Patient Zero. I realize there's a lot of fillers in here that need to be added to make these jive a bit better. And that sounds like another paragraph could start there. But what I was also thinking is I never want to do books with chapters, but I've done it before. But what I want to do is use chapters as a filler, if, you, if that makes any sense. When I get to a place where a paragraph sounds like it should be split, just put a chapter there as a new chapter. Because the chapters can be the split and the fillers. See, like right here, say page 33, that's like chapter, we'll say 6. Sound good? Like 5, 8, 6 pages or chapter, we'll say chapter 5 or 6. So, the next chapter would be 6 or 7. So, I'll be here. New chapter. Now, this is Jay and Aaron starting a new chapter. So, this will be chapter 7. Hey, Jay, do you think Travis will be all right by himself? I'm going to have to figure that out sometime because I think that these little paragraphs, they just drive me nuts. And now I understand why books and writers use chapters. Because sometimes you just don't want to write more fillers and stretch it on and on. You just need that paragraph to separate it and 
writing chapter whatever does that for you and makes it a lot easier. So when all is said and done, I might make another video and split this up into chapters in specific locations like that. And it doesn't really matter how many pages you put per chapter, as long as it makes sense. That's all that matters. Because in Patient Zero, I mean, the guys sold like millions of them, books or whatever, and some pages are only like a paragraph. So I can do whatever I want, really. So that's what I'm going to do when it comes to splitting this book up into chapters. Now that I've wasted a minute, yak, and here we go. Uh, I don't know if you know this about Travis, but I don't know if you know this, but Travis was alone about months before any of us showed showed up or came showed up sounds better and it's an extra word <laughs> uh it's alone in the vault for months before any of us showed up i'm gonna put that i like that better it sounds more natural and i said it natural came just sounds dumb it sounds simple i don't know if you know this but travis was in the vault alone uh, I don't know if you know this, but Travis was alone in the vault for months before any of us showed up. Survived all that time, I'm sure he'll be fine now. Much better. I think that flows a lot better. I like that. Hey, Aaron, while you were in the basement of the library with, the, with those ex-military people, did they ever... It sounds like a real long run-on sentence. Commas. Here I say I'm not going to use a lot, and I use a lot. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Aaron, while you were in the basement with those extra military blah, blah, people, did they ever talk about vehicles? I remember one night they lured a guy down there and asked him a bunch of questions. This is back before our supplies were running low. Anyways, they asked him if he had any transportation, and the guy told them about his garage. Talked about an armored truck he had jacked from a bank just before the blizzard. Said he had a few of said he had a few other vehicles in the garage, but in the garage too, but that knowing the location of it wouldn't help. Why is that? He said we need the access code to even get into the garage. Well, the guys would have, well, the guys would often let me talk to the victims before they would make themselves known. On this particular occasion, this guy I think must have known he was walking into a trap. Why do you say that? He asked me for a pen and paper, so I gave it to him. He wrote something down and told me to hide it quickly before they came. That's when they first started to eat their victims. They figured they could erase the murder sim they figured they could erase the murder simply by eating the victims. What did the guy write on the paper he gave you? I don't know. I hid it and never looked at it. I was always afraid of the guys. I was always afraid of the guys. Oh wow, this needs to be fixed. I was always afraid one of the guys... Okay, no it doesn't. I was always afraid one of the guys would catch me reading it and kill me. Do you remember where you hit it? Yeah, it's under the desk that the radio is sitting on. That the radio sits on? That the radio is sitting on. Neither here nor there. I'll leave it as is. Well, let's go get it. Maybe it's... Well, let's go get it. Maybe it has the location of the garage and, this, and the code. We don't have any other good plans. I wonder if Travis is having any luck. Keep in mind... This Travis character is like 20. We'll say. Well, he'd be like my age now, but let's say for just all intents and purposes, in this book, he's 20. Just so you can get an idea of a character. And 
they already know, we already know that Aaron is 17, and Mila and Jake, we'll say they're in their mid to late 30s. Maybe 40. Okay? No one older than that. So, here we go. It's freaking cold out here. No. That needs to be redone. That's not his mindset. It's freaking cold out here. I mean, these freaking cars work. Freaking talking to myself. Travis. Who said that? Travis, Travis, Travis. Who's there? This isn't funny. Travis. Holy crap, it's you. What, are you following me now? What, you thought beating me and then leaving me for dead could get rid of me? This is exciting because I have no idea what the hell is going on. And I wrote the book. <laughs> <laughs> it's either an ex-girlfriend or the copy killed in the vault. I don't know. I'm not spoiling anything because I really have no freaking idea. I'm excited. Okay. Take care of me. You had a gun to my face, asshole. Kind of like now. Yeah, only I'm guessing you won't shoot me this. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, only I'm guessing you won't shoot me this. Ugh. Does me need to be in there? Because I'm feeling like my brain wants to put it in there. Yeah, only I'm guessing you won't shoot me this time. Yeah, I'm guessing only you won't shoot this time. Meh, we'll leave it out. We'll, uh, we'll just leave it out. I'm dying to know. What makes you so sure of that? You know about the birds, right? One or two have taken a dive at me, so... What they're just... Oh, wait a minute. You know about the birds, right? One or two have taken a dive at me, so what? They're just birds. Not these birds. I mean the ones that disappear and reappear and travel by the thousands gonna stand out here in the cold listening to you go on about some whoa I'm not gonna stand out here in the cold listening to you go on about some imaginary birds they're not imaginary they attacked three of my friends the other day so you did find other people over here no matter you're going to be dead in a few minutes anyway it doesn't take a few minutes for a bullet to the head to kill anyone. Not Travis. I never said I was going to shoot you. Then how do you plan on killing me, Chris? Same way you intended on killing me. I'm gonna beat you, then leave you for dead. I hope you're a better fighter than you were a couple months ago. Or you're the one who's going to be left for dead again. Okay, so new character alert! Chris, I have no idea who that is, but... I don't know, it's kind of interesting. There's the library, now where's the basement? Follow me, it's over here. Don't wander around down here. <laughs> you're 17 and you're telling me not to wander around down here? I know it's down here and you don't. Alright, lead the way, Aaron. Keep laughing, Jay. There's dangerous stuff down here. Traps, poisons, and you're not going to believe how many dead bodies. Most victims never made it to me because of them. Well, if Emma and Travis could handle it, I'm sure that I can. Just follow my footsteps exactly. I don't want to leave here alone. Bridge scene! Okay. Come on, Chris. I don't want to kill you. Just come back to the vault with me. I'd rather die than be trapped in a vault with you. Come on, Chris. I'm giving you a chance here. Take it. There are five of us total. We have plenty of food and water. 
it's safe in it's safe down in the vault. What do you say? I don't know you, and you don't know me. We're strangers, and I've tried killing you twice now. People can change, Chris. A massive blizzard throws all of humanity out of whack, and people change. You have no reason to want to kill me, and I don't want to kill you too, and I don't want to kill you. I ruined the moment. It's done. Deal with it, people. Mute me and my videos and just read it your damn selves. You got cup of shit? <laughs> okay. <laughs> How much room is there in this vault? How much room is in this vault? My brain just adds words all the time. It might be best just to mute me and my horrible voice and read this by yourself. <laughs> okay. How much room is in this vault? It's about the size of a football field down there. It's about the size of a football field. There's plenty of room for you. Is there room for two more? You're not alone? Sam? You can come out now. It's safe. New characters? What? Look at this shit! More... This might be the most characters I've ever had in a book, next to Blood Rain, which has like four humans and four vampires and a bunch of extras. But this is cool. What's that take us to? Five, six, seven, eight, eight or nine or something. Interesting. Okay, so Sam, can come out, it's safe now. It's now, now it's safe, whatever. So where's this vault located? First things first, we need some... First things first, we need to find some supplies. What kind of supplies? We're looking for explosives and cars. There might be some. There might be some explosives at the construction site on the other side of the town. We only have about half an hour to get back to the vault. We can check the construction site tomorrow. Okay, back to Jay and Aaron on, in the basement library. Library basement. Whatever. Why are you laughing, Jay? <laughs> it smells so bad down here. Remember to follow my footsteps exactly. I'll go first. Watch me and pay close attention. You don't want to make a mistake down here. Speed it up, man. We've only got about 20 minutes to get back to the vault. Now it's your turn. I hope you were paying attention. I was paying attention. You're looking like an idiot. Jay says in a whisper. There's going to be a lot of comic relief in this, and I think it's going to be brilliant. Brilliant when it's all done. I would love this to be a sci-fi series or something. They desperately need sci-fi series because their sh sucks. They've just lost it since Being Human was canceled. Nice and slow. You're doing good. Come on, you're halfway there. Stop! You've made a wrong move. Run. Holy shit. Okay. Grenades fall. Form a bear. From above. And Jay runs toward Aaron. Towards Aaron. As they begin to explode one by one. I told you to pay close attention. Let's just get the note thing and get out of here. At that particular scene, I wrote like a year and a half to two years before I think it was Three Musketeers was made with Mila Jovovich. And she did a similar thing, I think, where she slid under this hall or like bent backwards and slid under while all these traps and bombs and arrows and stuff shot through. That's exactly how I envisioned this, and I might have actually put that in here. 
later in the book, but I can't remember at this time because it's been so many years. But it was just so cool that my idea was used in a movie, having never shared it with the world, brilliant minds think alike, that something so original like that, disarming traps by sliding under them, because we don't have time for this crap. And she said that exactly in this movie, years later, after I had wrote it. And I just think that's really cool, that... I'm just as good as Hollywood writers. I just need a chance. So, let's continue. Just a little tidbit side note to that particular paragraph scene. And maybe it's not the scene. Maybe it's in another book I wrote. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Is that it? Yes. Let's get going. Going back isn't the same. So watch me very closely. Now follow my footsteps exactly. I've got a better idea. Stand back. What are you doing? Jay picks up a chair and throws it across the floor, triggering several traps. Bullets go flying and poison tipped darts shoot through the air. A stream of fire shoots across the hall. Well, screw that. Jay, what the hell are you doing? He jumps up and grabs the pipe, running along the ceiling. He quickly makes it to the other side and jumps down. Nicely done, Jake. I like to call that thinking on my I like to call that thinking off my feet, <laughs> which I thought was fun as fuck when I wrote it. Okay. I like to call that thinking off my feet. We have like ten minutes. Let's get moving. Why are you laughing at... What are you laughing at now? It still stinks down here. <laughs> the fire didn't burn off any of the stench. Okay. Uh, so where's your friends, Travis? They'll be here. We just have to wait for them. Why they can't get in the vault? Why they can get in the vault without you, can't they? Not without me to help them get through the scam. Only locals to this town have access to the vault. There they are. What took you guys so long? Who are these two? This is Chris and his girlfriend, Sam. Nice to meet you both. Let's get inside. It's cold out here. I take he found something other than two people. Possibly explosives. Did you guys find anything? We may have found a couple of vehicles. Let's just get in the vault and get something to eat for your friends. Wow. You never guess a vault in the bank. I hope Travis told you that it's underground. I told him. No, it makes sense. A vault in the bank, but why under it? I mean, why would a town build an enormous vault under a bank? Do you really want a history lesson now? Sackton has some of the worst weather in the continent. Uh, some Sackton has some of the worst weather on the continent. We get the worst floods, wildfires, tornadoes, and blizzards. We build it as a safe place for all citizens of Sackton. We see all the houses, well, almost all the houses, were built without basements. Why not? We have very poor soil or something. I really don't know. We've reached the vault entrance. Now enough with the history lesson and just to open the vault. You know, I might use the dirt thing as a cover-up that the CDT created specifically so that they could have this vault built. Maybe they've got it rigged and bugged with cameras and mics. That might actually be a nice twist, maybe. But I don't remember if I destroyed the vault. See, I'm spoiling, but I'm not spoiling because I really don't know. That's why I'm reading through this and correcting it as I go because I really don't know. But that is another interesting idea I could use other than the 
ending that I already technically kind of have an idea for this, but that would be an alternate. That'd be cool. Okay. You need to be quiet down here. Why? Just don't speak until I say. M. What's your location? Jay, you're back. I'm in the main room. Brad's in here with me. Doesn't know you're there, right? Yes, but I can't get out without him seeing me. Stay there, we'll make a distraction. As soon as he leaves, make your way to the vault entrance. We'll be there waiting for you. Travis, I need you to go to the main room doorway and tap on the wall and run. I need you to do it loud enough to make Brad leave the room. Why do you want me to do it? You know the vault better than I do. Wait. You know the better... You know the better... Idiot! I can't read. Or spell or anything. <laughs> you know the vault better, just do it. Then head back here. Am your distraction is on its way. Get ready to move to us. Okay, I'm ready. Tap on the wall, he says. If I get shot, I'm kicking his ass. I have a better idea. Hey, Brad! Travis, you're back. Where's the rest of the gang? We need you at the vault entrance. We have two new guests with us. Okay, lead the way. Travis motions for M to leave the room with his hand, and she does so. And she does. So, Brad, any luck on the radio contact in the CDT? No, nothing but fuzz and static. Did you guys find anything other than two people? Mm, yes and no. M, quick, get over here. They're coming. Hey guys, and hello new people. Brad, this is Chris and Sam. Sam and Chris, this is Brad. Let's get you two some food. So, tell us how you two met. About two years ago, I was jogging down the road. I was headed one way, and she was jogging down the road in the opposite direction. I saw her trip and fall, so I ran up to her to see if she was alright. Sparks flew and she gazed up at me and when Sparks flew and she gazed up at me with her blue eyes. Even on a dirty road with a twisted ankle she was a knockout. <laughs> That's funny, I seem to remember it a bit differently. I wasn't the one that fell, it was you. I ran over to see, I ran over to him and as he was standing up, he patted the dirt, he patted the dirty, the dirty, <laughs> he patted the dirty off his butt. <laughs> that is a bad typo. Uh, he patted the dirt off his butt. It was love at first sight. It was love at first sight of that cute butt on it. It was love at the first sight of it. Okay. It was love at first... It was love at first sight of that cute butt on his... Of his. It was love at first sight of the cute butt of his. It was love at first sight of that cute butt of his. There. That sounds like a female character, right? That's what she said. That's how they met. Now I like her version of the story better. You should, it's the truth. <laughs> He did ask me out after we talked for a few minutes. Wow, Chris, you must have... Wow, Chris, you must be... Wow, Chris, you must be one moose smooth... Wow, Chris, you must be one... Wow, that's hard to read. Wow, Chris, you must be one smooth talker. Can I just say one thing? Feel free. This bacon is awesome. It's salty and crunchy but not greasy. <laughs> the, 
That, that's because I baked it, and it's better that way. I totally agree. Well, it's getting late, guys. Travis, you want to show your friends to the sleeping area? Em, can you come with me for a minute? So what's the deal with... So what's the deal? Did Brad speak with anyone? Well, yes and no, I think, Jay. What do you mean? I was listening the whole time he was talking. So he did contact someone. Not exactly. He was talking, but nobody was responding? It's like he was talking to his family. No one was talking back to him. He was carrying on a conversation about, by himself. He kept saying over and over again, Look, you're my wife, and I will make it to you. You and the kids just stay underground, and I'll be there soon. That's all he said. He did give a location, but it wasn't ours. The location he gave is about ten miles outside of Sacton. I think we should ask him about his family. Hey Brad, can we talk alone for a while? I guess. What's up? Do you have more questions to ask me? Brad, do you have any family? <clears throat> Why do you ask me that? Listen, I didn't trust you. So before we left, I asked M to stay behind. She said you were talking to your family. Do you have a problem with my f do you have a problem with family? No, I don't. It's just she said you were talking to yourself. My family is dead, Jay. But I can still speak to them. I can still make it to them before they die. My family is not dead. I can talk. Brad, you're not making sense. Are they dead or not? How dare you spy on me when I'm talking to my dead family. Brad, calm down. I'm sorry. Do you want to know what I was doing on that roof all alone? I was on to something big. I was on to a cure. A real cure. I didn't want to be human anymore. My family was dead and I ref My family was dead, but I refused to be dead like those creatures. So I made a virus to make me stronger than them. I kept injecting myself over and over again. I kept injecting myself over and over and over. Till I felt nothing anymore. It changed me, alright. It changed me. What do you mean, Brad? You look human to me. Brad disappears, then reappears behind Jay. Jay doesn't notice, and Brad grabs him and throws him to the floor. Should be throws him to the ground or flows, throws him to the floor. Because throws him to the floor doesn't flow as good as throws him to the ground. Jay doesn't notice and Brad grabs him and throws him to the floor. Throws him to the ground. We'll leave it as floor. It sounds weird, but I'm not going to fix it. It's neither here nor there, like I say in most of these corrections. Seven pages left. Probably one or two more videos. Going to have to film before I edit. Okay. Did you guys hear that? You're what am? You're hearing things. I'm gonna go check it out anyways. As M walks up the hall, she hears Jay. M, I could use a hand here. She races to the room up ahead and sees Brad on top of Jay. M, do something. 
Brad disappears again. M helps J to his feet, then Brad reappears again. You're the spy. Holy shit, he's infected. Worse, he's got a new virus in him. I assume we're gonna kill him? None of you can kill me. I made sure this virus was stronger. Stronger, perhaps, but doesn't make you smarter. Travis, shoot him now. What? M stabs him. M stab him. With the turn of his head, M stabs Brad in the cheek, missing the brain by inches. She pulls the knife out, and he screams and tries to stab She pulls the knife out as he screams and tries to stab him again, but he disappears again. Where is he? I don't know. Let's move. Wait. Do you feel that? Yeah, what is that? Invisible blood drips on J and M. From Brad's wounds. Okay. Let me explain that. Because that was a lot going on in that sentence. And you might be confused. He's created a virus. That makes his genetic tissues. And blood cells disappear. Now normally when that's done in movies. You can see the blood once it drips out of the victim. But in this case. Even outside the body. Hemoglobins and all that stuff. in their cells or whatever. Normally show whatever. They remain invisible. So it's like water, but even more invisible than that. If you can imagine, that's what their blood looks like in all the infected zombies. That's how they're able to move through the snow and stuff, which I still think is a really cool idea. So, uh... The buzz runes. Just like drops of water or blood. I'm not seeing anything, but I'm sure feeling something. Jay goes to put... Jay goes to pull out his gun while he's looking up at the ceiling. Brad reappears behind Jay and rips the gun out of his hands. He thinks quickly and grabs Brad just before he disappears again. M yells for Jay. Jay! Where are you? Brad reappears again with Jay in front of him. He wraps his arm around Brad's neck and flips him over his shoulder to the ground and puts his knee to his throat. See, Brad? Maybe stronger, but you're not smarter. Note smarter than me, Captain Gavna. Not. Not note. Not. Maybe stronger, but you're not smarter. M having picked up Jay's gun shoots Brad in the head. That's not going to kill me. M, throw me your knife. Jay catches his knife. Jay catches her knife and cuts Brad's head off. That sounds a little weird. I don't think he's going to heal this time. They both begin to laugh as M says, That's disgusting. <laughs> you make a good team, M. Hey there, you two. What did I miss? Well, I went to go see what the noise was and found Brad trying to kill Jay. So Jay and I fought him to the death. Turns out Brad was infected and went a little crazy. He's better off dead. Well, did he say anything about the master key code before you killed him? He didn't tell us anything. He just kept going on and... He just kept going on about how strong the virus he made was. So what are we supposed to do now? We don't have an exact location or codes or script. Maybe not. We didn't check his body. He could have the coat on him. Well, let's go check. 
I don't see a body here, guys. We cut off his head. He was laying right here dead. And I realize the irony of how rhymy that is, but we'll get over it. I'm so screwed. You stop saying that. We may still have a chance. What the hell are you talking about, Em? He's right. We are screwed. Brad's probably on his way to this facility to spread another virus. M slaps Jay across the face and tells him to shut up. Shut up! <laughs> I'll give you one of these! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay. Do you remember when we went to the roof to get Brad in the first place? Yes. He trapped me and you freed me. Do you remember the roof at all? He had a telescope up there and computers. Maybe the CDT base was a maybe the CDT base is closer than he led us to believe. I say three of us go back to the I say three of us go back to that roof and three of us stay here. Which three should go? Well, we're certainly not going to draw straws. Travis, you stay here with Chris and Sam while Aaron comes with us. Wait, why do I have to go with you guys? Em and I know the building already, so it's just best if we go. You're coming with us because you could use a little more practice with a gun. In case you haven't noticed, there were in case you haven't noticed there are thousands of zombie targets to practice on out there. Okay now Okay, now that that's settled, let's get moving. We should be back in about an hour. Travis, why don't you wait by the radio with Chris and Sam? When we get to the roof, we'll call you and tell you if we found anything. Also, keep your ears also keep your ears open for any other broadcasts from survivors or the CDT, but don't respond to any of them. Good luck, guys, and hurry back. How far away is this building? Don't you think we should drive there instead? Aaron will please stop asking questions. Jay, calm down. It's not far. Why don't you practice your shooting? Try and hit that zombie over there. Remember, a headshot is best, but if you can hit them in the leg or chest, that's just as good. It won't kill them, but it slows them down. But it will slow them down. Quiet. We're here, and I heard something. Get your guns ready and stay quiet. Any you see any signs of anyone? Gee, there's nobody down here. We should go to the top. We should go to the roof. Alright, let's head up this... Alright, let's head up. Alright, let's head up, but be quiet about it. I still say I heard someone. Man, there's a lot of stairs. And then let's move a little faster up them. That's not going to change how many there are. No, but if we move faster, you'll run out of breath quicker and stop talking. Well, you're just a ball of funny today, aren't you? Could you please just be silent? Here's the roof. Could you, could you please just be silent? Here's the door to the roof. Finally. Open the damn thing already. I need some air. Wait a minute. Jay, something's not right. Here. What do you mean, Em? You wanted to come here. When we left with Brad, didn't the doors, I mean, were the doors even, I mean, were there door? okay, wait a minute, when we left with Brad, didn't the door, when we left with Brad, didn't the doors, I mean, were there, 
Okay. Let's try it again. When we left with Brad, didn't the doors... I mean, were these doors even up here? You're right. These doors were put up here recently. This was open when we were here last. No doors. Should one of us stay out here while the other two go in? In case it's another trap. Yeah, you stay out here while well, Aaron goes in with me. You're kidding me, right? No, I'm not. You can handle yourself better than Aaron. If it's a trap, I'd feel much better knowing you're out here to help us if anything happens. Be careful. I'd hate to have to cut you to out of a net. Whoop, went too far. So where is it? It looks empty up here. I don't know, it looks like somebody cleared the place out. We should go tell him. You're not going anywhere. Who the hell are you guys? We're special forces, and we work for the CDT. So there are still... So they are still up and running. Shouldn't you guys, shouldn't you guys be in Australia handling the rabbit population? Who told you about that? That's classified information. Your boy Brad told me. Professor Brad. You know his whereabouts? Yes, he sent us up here to retrieve something. You see, about a week ago, this was his lab area. I guess you guys cleared it out, though. What did he send you up here for? Something to do with the virus cure he was working on? I'm ordering you to take us to Professor Brad immediately. I'm afraid I can't do that. Why not? Well, for starters, I don't work for you. Secondly, Brad is dead. I killed him. Do you have any idea what you've done? No, but I have a really good feeling you're about to tell me. He was developing a cure for all of this. You mean a chemical... You mean the chemical bombs you guys set off. They made things worse. Okay, that made things worse. Not they made... You mean the chemical bombs you guys set off that made things worse? Now everything is mutating? The zombies, the birds, and all other animals? I see Brad told you just about everything. You could say that. We have to kill you both now. We can't have you interfering with our plans. Exactly what plans could the CDT have? You killed over half the population and put us in an Ice Age effect. So tell me what plans would we be interfering with exactly? You'll die first, Malky. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Well, what do we have here, boys? Is this your girlfriend? Perfect timing as always, Em. Are you boys alright? Very funny, Em. Kill them. And very funny, Em. Kill them already. I wasn't asking you, Jay. I was asking them. I was asking my team. Oh, <gasps> She's a deceiver! A spy! A traitor! A cool coconut! Okay. I thought I asked you to bring six guys to pick up the professor. Why do I only see four? And what the hell are you talking about? Shoot them already. Sorry, guys. I've made another... I'm sorry, guys. I've made other plans. Which one is infected with the professor's virus? 
Now, boys, you know the deal. Once I'm safely in the perimeter of the CDT facility, then I'll tell you which one is infected. Cut them down. We should get going before it gets dark. As the men cut them down, M leaves a note by the telescope, then looks into it. The facility looks nice. I can't wait to get there. That's just a cover for the real facility. It's underground. That's just a cover for the real facility. That's just a cover. That's just a cover. The real facilities are that needs to be a comma there. It sounds weird. That's just a cover. The real facility is underground. That's just a ugh. That's just a cover. The real facility is under it. Should I say underground or under the cover? It's undercover. But see, when you do that, the comma makes no sense. So maybe if you say it fast enough, it'll make sense. Okay. That's just a cover. The real facility is under it. Okay, it makes sense. You just have to read it right, I guess. Really? Thought it was above ground. Alright, let's get moving. Okay. Why haven't they radioed yet? It's been two hours. We have to do something. Alright, Chris, you come with me and Sam. You stay here. Where it's warm and safe. Are you trying to tell me I can't handle myself out there? Not at all. I just met. I just met. Not at all. I just met you. And have no idea how you fight. The point is. I trust Chris more. <sighs> Sam, just stay here. Sam, just stay here. Won't be gone long. Sam, just stay here. Sam, just stay here. We won't be gone long. I promise you that. Sam, just stay here. We won't be gone long. I promise you that. Okay. Getting to the final few pages here. Watch each other's backs out there and come back alive, not undead. I can't believe your team didn't bring a vehicle. We weren't authorized to bring one. Why the hell not? Vehicles attract the infected and we can't jeopardize the facility. So we're just going to walk with two prisoners, four guards, and me through the blistering cold, zombie-infested landscape. There's an underground tunnel just outside the town that leads directly to the CDT facility. It's also the only way to get to the facility. On the surface, it's a water treatment facility. Why is the CDT facility under the water treatment facility? Under a water treatment facility? When the infected started posing a real threat, we had no choice but to transform the existing bunker and tunnels under the area into the CDT facility. Em, I can't believe you would do this to us. I saved your life twice. I got tired of running and fighting all the time. Jay, I got tired and needed to be saved. I got tired of needing to be saved. Do you honestly think that they won't kill you once they've got the blood they need from us? I've made my decision, Jay. I trust them. Or does she? You just gonna have to keep listening to find out because I honestly don't know. Is this the building? Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is it. They should be... On the roof. Let's head up there. Let's head up there. No elevator, just stairs. Uh, let's head up there. Oh! Okay, this is, uh... Chris and Travis. 
which I think is his old friend from before the viruses and stuff. So, is this the building? Yeah, this is it. Should be on. Yeah, this is it. They should be on the roof. Let's head up there. No stairs. Let's head up there. No elevators. Just stairs. Let's head up there. Comma. No elevators. Just no elevator. Just stairs. What was the builder of this place thinking? Maybe he didn't want a bunch of fat people working on his. Maybe he didn't want a bunch of fat people working in this building. In his building. I don't know. That sounds funny. <laughs> Head up the stairs. Sam? Sam, are you there? Hello? Chris, is that you? Sam, it's Travis. I'm on the radio. Over. Travis, where's Chris? Is he alright? Yes, we're both fine. Thanks for asking. We made it to the roof, but... There's not we made it to the roof but they're not up here nothing is do you guys have a do you guys have the right roof yes it's the right roof M left us a note what's it say are they all right I think I should read it when we get back to the vault why is that that's what it says to do read inside the vault Good news is that good news is that CDT facility is closer than we thought. There's a telescope up here and you can see it just outside the town. We're heading back to the vault now. I want to talk to Chris. What is it, Sam? I wanted to know you were still alive. I'm still breathing. I thought I promised I'd come back alive. No, I don't break promises. I'll see you both soon. Over and out. We've reached the CDT facility entrance. You three surround the prisoner, prisoners, and you get ahead of me. Watch what you say to me, or I'll take you down in front of your boys. Is that understood? Get moving, please. Stop here. This is a voice check. Sergeant Michaels, 32789. Three guards, two prisoners, and a woman. Sergeant Michaels, 32789. Total body count scan commencing. I hate this part. Nobody move and... I hate this part. Nobody moves until the scan is done. Nobody move until the scan is done. Okay. Why not? The heat scan has to verify seven warm bodies out here and no infected. If it scans a warm body, the door... If it scans a warm body, the door is open. If, it scan, if the scan detects a cold body like that of an infected, then the doors stay closed. Total warm body count is seven. The doors are now opening. Thanks a lot, computer. Let's move ahead. Do, 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 do. Okay, just so I don't have like a 30 second video because I'm almost on the page 48, which is another 16, another hour's worth of recording about, I'm going to read just a little bit extra maybe. So here we go. They've been scanned to get into the CDT facility underground. I'm glad to see you made it back in one piece. Oh my god. In on piece? Well, I read it right, but it certainly wasn't typed right. Okay. I'm glad to see you made it back in one piece. Well, are you going to take the note out so we can read it? Travis, read this letter with Chris and Sam in the vault. By now you three are wondering where we are. We're on our way to the CDT facility. We ran into those guys we talked about earlier. By the time you read this, we will have reached the CDT facility. 
if you haven't used the telescope to see the facility just outside of town, good. That's just a water treatment facility. The real CDT is based underground just below the water treatment facility. There's only one way to get to the CDT base underground, and that's through an underground tunnel. The tunnel is located just outside of Sacton. You'll know it when you see it. It's a storm drain to Go, it's a storm drain discovered. Ugh, it's a storm drain covered in graffiti. Before you think of heading there, right, before you think of heading this way, you will need explosives. I've also enclosed the code you will need to get into the dealership. You will need a strong vehicle. Use Jay's car to drive to the dealership then switch to an armored truck. Then get the explosives from the construction site and drive to the storm drain tunnel. By the way, that exists. That storm drain tunnel covered in graffiti was based on what I call graffiti tunnels here in Mapleton, Iowa. And there's one on the north side of town that runs north-south, and there's one just up the street from where I live that runs east and west. And it's got a whole bunch of graffiti. So basically that was written about seven years ago, six, seven years ago, that part. Maybe five or something, but yeah, it's based on reality. Okay, so basically that's the plan. And that's a quite a long note, so I don't know how she wrote it, but so fast, but whatever. It's a movie magic or book magic. You don't have to question it. Look, guys, who is she talking about? Long story short, they found a way into the facility and, as prisoners. So what, we have to go save them now? So what, we have to go save them now? They don't need to be saved. I'll explain it later. Look, right now we need to drive to the dealership and get that truck. Then we need to get to the construction site. Then we need to get to the construction site to find the explosives. That's the plan and we're sticking to it. After we get the explosives, we can head to the tunnel. You guys had this plan and didn't tell us? Actually, Aaron doesn't even know the plan. He thinks he's actually in danger, which is good. Why is that good? Well, if he didn't think he was in actual danger, the guards would know. The key to their success is his actual fear, which he is undoubtedly expressing as we speak. Who exactly does know this plan? Me, Jay, M, and now you guys. That's enough questions. We have to get moving. If we don't get moving, it doesn't matter. If, it, if we don't get moving, it won't matter who knows the plan. So, M. Is that short for something? Mind your own business. M stares back at Jay and... S M stares back at Jay as he smiles. That's how they met! Isn't that cute? Tie it in there. I'm a genius in writing. Just thank me later with a book award or some shit. I don't know. Okay. I love it. That, if it was in a movie and you saw it, you'd be like... Oh my god, they're working. Are they still like each other? They might be working together. Planting that seed of doubt. Or deception. Or whatever. Okay. This place is a lot bigger than I thought. The CDT does a lot of experiments down here. At any given time, there can be 400 workers, scientists, even special forces like us. Recently, there's been infected activity down here. We've been trying to figure out how they disappear. Brad was on to something. He believed it had to do with the human blood type AB positive. Only specific blood types could sustain the infection. We obviously, well obviously Brad had the right blood type. Why do you say that? I saw him disappear and reappear just like the creatures out there. Whoops, what am I doing? Okay.
Here we are, this is where the brain works. Wait. Here we are, this is where the brains work. Those are the head scientists. We call them the brains. Now M, tell us which prisoner is infected with the professor's blood. It's J. While he was in while he was fighting with Brad, he injected him with his blood. Why the hell would you tell them that? Now they're gonna kill you. I take it he's Jay. Yes, that's him. What about the other one? I suppose we can use him for an experiment. You're so stupid, Em. Why are you doing this? He's only 17. Can I leave now? Not until you pass the test, little lady. Alright, that's the last time you're calling me that. What are you going to do about it? I hope that's a rhetorical question. I told you I would drop you in front of your boys if you didn't watch what you said to me. You think you can beat me? Then forget the test. The head of a CDT would love to see a good fight. A god fight. Ha! <laughs> a good fight. We're not putting religion in this book. Sorry, Churchill goers. Okay. Uh, they'll see a good fight, all right. Where's it going to be? Two of you stay here with the prisoners. You go inform the boss of the fight. We're heading to the training room. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to end this part. This is the end of part three. And then I see I have 18, 18 pages left, which is about what this is going to have. So, 16, 16 in the first two, and then 18, 18 in the next two parts. So, 16, 16, 18, 18. It's even. It works. And it saves the last one being like a smaller one, so... Thank you for listening, and I will see you for part four next time on Blizzard Zombies. Whatever.